a sad day for all of us, but uh, it's also an opportunity for us to demonstrate to the world that Ghana is indeed the beacon of hope for Africa. And just as His Excellency the President would have loved, he would want us to continue from where he left off and project Ghana as much as we could in the interest of Mother Ghana. And so, to this end, uh, we are here to host our Olympians who are representing us, who are flying the flag of Ghana during the 2012 Olympics here in London. The whole idea is to make sure they feel loved and that they feel we're here to support them. And this should be, or will be, an opportunity for them to win medals, not only for Ghana, but for our late president. By a few ways, we are athletes and sportsmen, nine in all, who will be shortly introduced to all of us here, as well as the accompanying officials, are that Although we are participating in the Olympic Games with a very heavy heart, let us do so with a sense of commitment and dedication to the ideals of excellence, sportsmanship, and national pride. Knowing that the eyes of the entire nation of God are on you, and that you are carrying the hope of millions Ghanaians on your shoulders as you participate in your respective events. Our athletes, we do recognize the difficult circumstances, but you know, as a champion, we have faced all kinds of adversities. We have fallen on many, many occasions. But the resilience in us commands us that any time we fall, we rise. The greatness in us is not determined by the number of times we have fallen, but by the number of times we have fallen and risen, demonstrated to the world that we are indeed the black stars of Africa. We in the Ghana High Commission, and I'm sure all Ghanaians here in the United Kingdom, will do all I in our part to help our athletes achieve success. I firmly believe that there is so much good in all of us, so much good in Ghana, that the goodness in us will triumph over every bad thing, every bad experience we have. Let me once again welcome all of you to your own residence. Let me assure you that you are all welcome here anytime you feel like visiting your own residence to find out what we do. You are always welcome. Let me end this by assuring our athletes that they should not worry about anything. We are the trailblazers. We continue to be the trailblazers. And we shall forever remain the trailblazers of Africa. Our late president, Professor Ivan Satamius, for those of you who are not aware, was a keen sportsman. 
He was a hockey player and he belonged to the national team of hockey in Ghana. And when I met him at the university in 1973 to 1976, he was the lecturer in charge of all the sporting disciplines in the university. And that position was called the Amalgamated Clubs President. And I'm sure those of you who attended the University of Ghana in those days, yeah. if you are here, you will attest to the fact. I think Mr. Jomensa is here. You will attest to the fact that he was the lecturer in charge of sports. I was the captain of tennis in the university, and we had to relate directly with Professor Ivan Zatamius on daily or weekly basis. He was a lover of sports. He sacrificed himself so much for sports. A simple and assuming gentleman who just loved to render service to humanity. Thereafter, he became a member of the Ghana Olympic Committee for some years. And even as president, he always encouraged sports encourage the Ministry of Youth and Sports in these programs and activities. I was very overwhelmed when I attended the Commonwealth Ministers' Conference yesterday, and there was an outpouring of grief and condolences from sports ministers all over the world, a recognition of the fact that Our Excellency, the, the, the President, played a role, not only as a leader of the Commonwealth, also in terms of promoting and developing sports in Ghana and Africa. I am very delighted to be here today and uh, as soon as the team is gathered, we'll be introducing them one by one so that you'll all get to know them. I would like to take, take this opportunity once again to thank His Excellency the High Commissioner, Mutang Nananu, and all of you gathered here, the media, well-wishers and friends of Ghana, that we really appreciate the effort that you have made this evening. When we heard about the demise of our ex-president, I had to seek permission from the presidency as to whether Team Ghana should withdraw or continue. Because in some countries and in some jurisdictions, it is, it is the convention that you withdraw in order to show respect to the dead. But when I called His Vice Excellency the Vice President on this subject matter, I was given strict instructions that our past, our ex-president, Professor Ivasata Mills, was himself a sportsman. And the best thing we can do to glorify his name, the best thing we can do in his memory is to continue to participate in the London Olympics and continue to participate in all activities related to the London Olympics. So I want to assure you that despite the demise of the ex-president, Team Ghana will participate fully in the London Olympics, which will take place in the next year. We are hopeful that we'll get some medals, particularly in boxing, in which we are strong. We are sorry we couldn't qualify for the football, which is the, you know, the, 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 the greatest game in sports now. At the time during the qualifications, there were a few hitches and we couldn't make it. We are hopeful that next time round, we'll be able to make it. I thank you all for coming this evening to welcome us, especially the Nanano, and we'll carry very fond memories of this evening's occasion back home. I thank you. I stand here on behalf of my colleagues on the Ghana Olympic Committee and there are at least a couple of other colleagues here with me. 
to thank you for this very, very welcoming event that you put out for us. Um, it's been a very difficult day, like my predecessor speakers have said. It's been a very difficult moment for us in Ghana. Um, I left with the minister on Monday, like he indicated. We landed in London Monday night. And um, Tuesday, we heard the news of the demise of our president, um, Professor Evan Zata Mills. Um, I spoke to him last week before I came, and he was very interested in the preparation of our athletes towards the Olympic Games. He had his, um, everybody knows he was a sportsman. Uh, like the Honorable Minister said, and we were at Nagorno at the same time, he was the head of our amalgamated clubs then, and a uh, very strict disciplinarian from the point of view of some of us. Um, but he was also a very avid sportsman, and you've all already heard about his participation in the Olympic Committee as a vice president, and then in the Sports Council, and in the other arenas in which he served. Um, when the message came on Tuesday, I got a call from the Honorable Minister, and we had a conversation about whether we should participate or not in, in the Olympic Games. And um, after the Honorable Minister conferred with with, with, with Ghana and came back and indicated that the, the, the position was that we needed to participate because that is what uh, late president would have expected of us. Um, it struck me that it was uh, something that we shouldn't even have pondered over in, in the first place. So we've taken the position that our athletes are going to go out there. They're going to try to do their best to bring some levity to all of us because I think that it's a very difficult moment for, for, for all of us. And hopefully their achievements on the athletic field will make us all happier next week than we are today. I wanted to myself also personally recognize Coach Nyaku when I knew him, he was Coach Naku, and in the late 70s, he had quite an influence on my career as an athlete. And so, Coach, I salute you. Thank you for everything that you've done for them.